Right then, so welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can place text behind a subject, just not in Premiere Pro, instead in Photoshop. So you would have seen last week our video was how to do it in Premiere Pro, which you can see the thumbnail right here. We're going to be teaching you how to do this effect in Photoshop. So, we have ourselves an image with a person walking down a street here. How wonderful, this looks like a New York City style of street. And what we're going to do is we're going to place some text behind our subject. So, to begin with, we need to get our subject selected. Like we did in Premiere Pro, we're going to select our subject. Which is as simple as, over here on our tool panel, which is as simple as over here on our tool panel, finding the object selection tool, which is often already selected if you just open Premiere Pro. If not, you can right click on the fourth item down and you'll find the object selection tool. Now we need to select our, our little person here. So what we're going to do is with the object selection tool, simply it's going to draw a box mostly around the person. Give Adobe a minute to look at whether it's happy or not. And, okay, so this one, it's not highlighted the bad, which means we're going to do it a different way. So sometimes object selection will work, and, you know, wonderful if it works for you, but we're going to do it the manual way. Well, no, we're not going to do the manual way, actually. I'm going to use the quick selection tool, which is in the same part as the... Same part as the object selection tool, and the quick selection tool works similarly to how the object, uh, the roto brush tool does in After Effects. Why am I having to think about this stuff? You can see plus, minus, what I'm going to do is just, you know, clean up that a little bit there. Uh, we can change our brush size here though, so let's just scale that down. Just going to clean up the mask here a little bit. And you can see, beautiful, using our hand tool to slide about a bit here we see down here this isn't selected so we'll just quickly select that that's nice again down here not selected on the bottom of these vans so we'll just select that nicely like that beautiful his arms not selected so again just simply just gonna get that arm selected but then also make sure that they're not doing that and then his legs done a bit wonky there so we'll just sort that out for some reason it's still thinking that it can yeah, let's get rid of that. There we go. So as you can see, just going to play around with it for a minute. Get it as, you know, clean as possible. It's going around his bag here, but just here, it isn't. Let's just going to remove that. There we go. Remove that a little bit there. So quickly check. Oh, yeah, up here again. Similar thing. Just need to get his head a bit tighter. And obviously, it's decided that it doesn't want to go around that ear perfectly. There we go. Uh, right, also over here as you can see it's decided the windows are good to select, so we're just going to wipe the windows out of this, oops, situation, if you ever make a mistake, control Z undoes things, uh, so I'll wipe the window out of the situation, again, make a mistake again, because apparently Adobe does not want to play ball, there we go, much better, much better, there we go, and just like that we have ourselves a subject that is outlined okay so we've got our subject selected using whatever tool we've ended up using and we're now going to do control z control c and then control v which as you can see gives us a lone person now we need to get some text behind this person which again this is a simple find your text tool type whatever you want to type change your font change the color whatever you want to do Make it bigger if you want to, like so, and then simply drag it behind the subject, like so. And just like that, you have placed text behind the subject in Photoshop. It's that simple. It follows the same premise as Premiere Pro. And yeah, simple as that. So if you found this useful or helpful, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Drop a comment. Drop a comment. Leave a comment. So if you found this useful, don't forget to subscribe. Drop a comment. Leave a like. Share the video. And I will see you in the next tutorial video next Monday. Bye for now.